The following video is brought to you by the guys at the Wrecking and Racing Podcast, a NASCAR podcast made by the fans for the fans. Check them out at www.wreckingandracing.com, facebook.com slash Wrecking and Racing, and Twitter at Wrecking and Racing. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to NASCAR Racing 2003 season, the 2019 mod, and we are plate racing here at Talladega. Brad Keselowski was on the pole myself, and Brandon didn't have the most exciting qualifying. We're about mid-pack, but as with Talladega, the pack racing is real, and we will try to make our way to the front. Brad Keselowski leads the pack off of turn two, rocketing down the back straightaway. Coming around turn four on lap one, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. showing his super speedway chops as he gets out in front, but lines start forming up. Truex and Kyle Busch on the bottom, Brad Keselowski and Joey Logano, teammates starting to form together. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is all alone on that island, and the pack is still tight. Down the back straightaway with help from his teammate Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr. assumes the lead here at Talladega, Kyle Busch in the middle line, Kyle Larson and Austin Dillon. The Camaros lining up on the bottom. It's still anyone's race, four wide behind Martin Truex Jr. and it's only going to ramp up from here. On lap three, the four wide continues as Brandon to the inside of Landon Castle, Chase Elliott and Ryan Newman. Brandon gets up the track just a little bit, touching the double zero and into Chase Elliott and over Chase Elliott goes. It's the big one, Bowman involved, Tift involved, Landon Castle involved, Paul Menard involved, and Chase Elliott goes for a ride as well as Alex Bowman, many cars involved. The track absolutely closes up in front of Paul Menard. The 32 of Corey LaJoy barely squeaks through, but Jeffrey Earnhardt gets some. Tanner Berryhill and Ross Chastain also involved. Many cars involved in this wreck. Coming to lap four, crew chiefs have a decision to make, and it's a pretty split decision as Martin Truex Jr., who is leading the race, leads them on pit road as well for fuel, but they are not within their range. They're pitting way too early. That hands the lead over to Austin Dillon, followed by Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Kevin Harvick, and Ryan Blaney, your top four. Now, we will have to make a pit stop down the road, uh, but so will everyone else. Brandon and myself making our way up into the top ten. Nice and easy. Coming down to begin lap eight, Austin Dillon on the point, and no double file restarts in NASCAR Racing 2003 season and no one to the inside. So based on 2003 rules, that means no one is a lap down. Everyone who was involved in that crash and could not make it back around is now out of the race. The Ricky Stenhouse Jr. making a power move on the bottom as we get up the gears, myself and Brandon link up together to move forward on the bottom line behind Ryan Blaney. Coming around turn three, it looks like the tandem draft days with two by two by two, but I push Brandon to the inside and we assume the lead first and second. This will be the first lap that Brandon has led today. We go to the high line trying to get that momentum. The pack is still there waiting for pit stops to separate us out. Do we take tires? Do we take just fuel? It's going to depend on race strategy and if there is another caution. Around lap 10, Ryan Blaney is the first to hit pit road. He darts in front of the entire pack and gets it slowed down. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and William Byron also there with him. We don't know what strategy these AI are going to take, but this will put them good to go on fuel. So Ryan Blaney, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and William Byron on pit road. Lap 11, we come down pit road. I take a little bit wider arc than Brandon, but we will be on pit road together, able to get back up to speed, nose to tail. This will put us within our fuel window as well. Kyle Busch assumes a lead with Kyle Larson, Brad Keselowski, Martin Truex Jr., and Denny Hamlin right behind. Ross Chastain looking to go one lap down, and you can see a group of cars filing out, as well as those coming off of pit road down there on the bottom. So a big pack might form. It just depends on where everyone comes out in traffic. Lap 13, coming to 14, Kyle Busch leads the rest of the pack on pit road with Kyle Larson and Brad Keselowski right there. We'll see where they come out when they rejoin the race on the backstretch. Lap 15, your leader, Daniel Suarez, is one of the last to hit pit road. He was trying to get a caution out of it, but to no avail, everyone else will be coming behind with a full head of steam. 
Your lead pack with three to go, myself, Brandon, and Martin Truex Jr. Right back there in first, second, and third, Eric Almarola out there with Chris Busher as well. Brandon giving us the shove down the back straightaway. We'll try to get the pull off of Daniel Suarez, who is rejoining the racetrack and might put him a lap down. We split him going into turn three. With two to go, I misspoke. Daniel Suarez is actually in fourth place, but losing touch with Martin Truex Jr. It looks like a three-car battle unless Suarez can get back there with his teammate, Eric Almarola and get a massive run, but we're coming to the white flag shortly. Down the back stretch for the final time, we go to the yellow line. If he's gonna pass us, he's gonna have to pass us on the outside. Brandon bobbing and weaving, trying to get some help from Martin Trex Jr. Can't get the fender to the outside, and it's a drag race off of turn three. Coming down to the checkered flag, however, Brandon is out there on our corner, but we take the checkered flag here at Talladega, and Martin Trex Jr. finishes in third. Let's take a look at your top 10. Myself in first, Brandon in second, Martin Truex Jr. in third. Fourth place will be Eric Almarola. Fifth, fourth place will be Daniel Suarez. Fifth place, Eric Almarola. Sixth place, Chris Busher. Seventh place, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Eighth place, Joey Logano. Ninth place, Kurt Busch. And rounding out your top 10 is Denny Hamlin. Let's take a look at your playoff drivers. So Kurt Busch finishes in ninth. Brad Keselowski, Still coming around, has not finished the race quite yet. He will come across the line in 27th position. Eric Almarola comes across in 5th. Denny comes across in 10th. Ryan Blaney comes across in 11th. Kyle Busch comes across in 12th. Joey Logano comes across in 8th. Brandon finishes 2nd. I took the checkered flag. Kyle Larson ends up 15th. And Jimmy Johnson comes in 13th. So let's take a look at the standings after Talladega. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is your cutoff driver by two positions over Kyle Larson, nine over Jimmy Johnson, 10 over Kurt Busch. And Joey Logano has half a race to make up, but it is still very tight between Ryan Blaney down to Ricky Stenhouse. Myself and Brandon have advanced to the round of eight, so it's a crapshoot at Kansas, depending on who goes forward to look forward to Martinsville. But that will do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you for the next NASCAR Racing 2003 season video. Take care.